Welcome to Driveway Garage. I'm in the middle of changing the transmission fluid on a 2009 Chevy Cobalt with a 2.2. And I'm about halfway done with it. I thought, well, I'll make a quick video. Might help somebody out. So, the transmission, of course, the pan is underneath. Let's see if I can get an angle here where you can see it. This is your engine oil pan. And the plug on that is on right on the back here if you need to change your oil. And then right on the side here, this is the transmission pan. And it has about 12 or 14 volts of oil on there. Now this is the filter. And you can kind of tell by the shape of it. A piece of dirt or some hair or something on there. Um, there's a hole up here toward the front where this goes. You get the old one off, you just wiggle it down a little bit, back and forth, it'll pop out of there. And there is a seal in there. Where'd my seal go? This is the new seal, and I'm not gonna bother replacing it because it's kind of a pain. And they're soaked in oil. I'm sure it's just fine. To slip this back in, you just get it in that position, slide it back up in the hole, and make sure it kind of seats in there and then the filter will be in there now getting the pan off actually in this one it's pretty easy I don't know if they're all this way I know this is like the second time I've had a transmission pan with the drain plug in it but it's got a drain plug there and that's a 15 millimeter so that makes it a heck of a lot easier to change your transmission fluid because when you don't have one of those what I usually do is I have a little electric pump and I run the tube down the transmission fill tube and pump out as much oil as I can. But this one doesn't have a transmission fill tube. It just has a little cap, like a radiator cap. It's kind of hidden. It's a real pain to get to. I'll show it to you in a minute. Now, you see these little plastic ties I have on here. I tried to put the bolts in there to hold the new gasket but the bolts are smaller than the holes in the rubber gasket. So it wouldn't hold it on there. So I put these little plastic ties on to hold the filter. So once you take the filter off, you want to clean it really good. I use some brake cleaner, wipe it out, and then make sure that your gasket surface is really nice and clean. So I wiped that all off the rag and, and prepped it. But I didn't have any way keep this gasket down flat my uh, gasket maker is frozen it's not cooperating it's pretty cold out here like 30 degrees I've been holding off doing this for a couple weeks just because I knew it was going to be a pain but I decided today to brave the elements and do it so I'm using those plastic ties and I put them on five five different locations and that kind of as you see kind of holds the gasket where it belongs so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the, gas, uh, the pan up where it belongs and I'll start a couple of bolts and then I'm just going to work my way around. Now I should be able to go ahead and put all the missing wherever there's a bolt hole open. I should be able to put the bolt in there and get them started and then once I get them started it'll hold it in place and then I'm going to cut these plastic ties off and put the bolts in there. Now you just gotta be careful. Make sure you're putting the bolt into the rubber gasket or you're gonna have a bad transmission leak. So I'm gonna get this back up in there, get the bolts in it. Uh, and like I said, uh, let's see if I can get this gasket on here. Now, when you fill your transmission up, well, I won't go that far yet. Hang on. Let me see if I can get this in here with one hand and still film. I put a little oil on it to make it slide in easier, but I don't think it's really going to matter. Question is, can I do this? There's not much room. I wished I had a rack, but I don't. So, you get it where you want it, and then you just wiggle it. There. 
little tapping and the filter is where it belongs. Now that's going to stay there and then I'm going to have to use two hands to get the gas or the pan back on. I'm going to have to hold it and try to put the bolts in at the same time. A person could get a floor jack under here and jack it up and get the pan where you want it and free your hands up. But I'm not going to bother. I'm just going to be careful. So I'll get the bolts in, cut off the plastic ties, finish putting the bolts in, and then you want to snug it up. But don't over tighten it because if you tighten it too much with this rubber gasket, you'll bend the pan and then you'll end up with the leak there. So snug them all up equally. Uh, I don't know what the specs are for the foot pounds. I just go by feel. And the reason I'm doing this is because it shifts into first and second, but it won't go into third and fourth. However many gears there are, it just it'll rev up to three or four thousand RPMs going about 40 miles an hour and it just won't shift. This might fix it. If not, then I'm going to have to take the pan, the side off the transmission. And there's two solenoids in there, and I'm going to have to replace those. I'm trying to avoid that, so I'm going to do this first. So, what else can I tell you? Oh, filling it back up. Ah. Bear with me here. And I'm not sure you guys will be able to see this. I hope you can. There's my truck keys. Right down. Let me see. Okay, you got to take this cover off, and to do that, take the oil fill cap off, stay, and then this lifts up off of there, and you get that out of your way, and the transmission field tube, well, it's right down in there, you can't even see it, and I can't see it, but I know it's there because I fill this thing up with transmission fluid you just have to reach your hand down in there and you'll fill it and it almost fills kind of like this cap but it's a little smaller and then you have to get a long funnel transmission funnel like this one and then you can fit that's about a foot and a half long you can fit that down in there and it takes just under seven quarts to fill it up after you've drained it 6.9 quarts i think it is and if you completely flush the transmission which is another story take you about i think it's 12 quarts if i remember right but i'm not going to do that i just wanted to get the dirty filter out of there put in fresh fluid and see if it'll start shifting because if not i've got to go in here and take the side of this pan off down here and to do that, you got to take the wheel off and the axle off and drop the control arm. Bunch of, there's a, you can watch videos on YouTube. I might, I may film it if I have to do it, but it's just not a fun project, but I don't want to pay a transmission shop 500 to a thousand dollars, whatever they would want to do it. Anyway, I hope this helps you out if you have to change your transmission filter. I know it's not the best video in the world, but. Maybe it'll help you get by. Now, if you're doing this in warmer weather, you could probably get some gasket maker and put it on the gasket or the pan in a few places and let it get tacky and put your filter on there. At least it'll hold it in place. But it's so cold, I can't do that. So I'm hoping this works. I don't see why it won't. I got some side cutters down here so I can cut. I can cut all those plastic ties off when I get done. And uh, if it doesn't work, I'll add to the video. But uh, like I said, I'm going to bolt this up there, get it all snugged up. And I'm going to add my seven quarts of transmission fluid and see if it'll start shifting. Make sure when you're doing this that you put your new filter in because I did this on a truck one time. I got it all bolted back together. I turned it around, oh, I got out from underneath the truck, and there's the brand new filter sitting on my little wall over here. So I had to unbolt it, drop it down part way. I was able to get the filter in there and bolt it back up, but man, what a pain. Anyway, thanks for watching. If, if you found this useful, hit the like button. You're welcome to subscribe. I'm always putting out videos on different things 
Mostly working on cars, whatever I happen to buy and want to sell. Thanks again. I just wanted to add this at the end to show you where you have to put your funnel. It's right in the middle of the engine and it's straight down. I don't know if I can get you enough light down there to see it, but maybe. There you can see where my funnel's going in, I think. It's kind of a bugger to show you. There it is right there. So you can see where the hole is, where the cap is. And what did I do with the cap? There's the cap right there. So I'll give you an idea what it looks like. It's not very big and you can just reach your hand right through here and you can feel it. Unscrew it, get your funnel in there and put your oil in. Thanks again for watching.